Well, let's get straight to some of the findings from the latest reporting effort. Well, these ship attacks by the Houthis have caused chaos uh, in the southern Red Sea, and that is a major waterway. It normally accounts for about 12 percent of, of global seaborne trade. It essentially connects, um, uh, it, it, the Red Sea connects to the Mediterranean via Suez, so it is the quickest route uh, between Asia and Europe. And what we're seeing now is that many shipping companies, um, the majority, are avoiding that waterway, and instead of sending ships um, via the Suez, they're having to send them around the southern tip of Africa, which is adding to at least, uh, in most cases, it's adding at least a week onto journeys. We're seeing freight rates rates uh, soar. Energy markets at the moment are still fairly calm, and uh, Brent is, is um, I believe at the moment, still below $80 um, uh, a barrel. But it's something that shipping companies are now saying probably lasts for many more weeks, if not months, and, it, uh, and it is a, it's a major concern for not just the shipping world, but um, global supply chains and the global economy too. One of the things that we take for granted over the years, uh, you know, are some of the maps that show you the sort of the where the majority of vessels are going through, and a lot of them, you know, dock uh, Jebel Ali sort of in Dubai, and then come back out, and then go from the south, and then you know, through the through the Suez Canal. Uh, some of them stop in, in Jeddah. Now, what are we seeing in terms of those trade flows shifting, and could there be a permanent shift to the extent that there is damage to some of these waterways, which have been a source of revenue, right, and logistics and infrastructure? If this lasts much, much longer, let's say, throughout the rest of the year, then I think that could be the case. However, I think most people are expecting this to be a sort of phenomenon for maybe the first half of this year at, at the most. That's bad, but it's manageable. And uh, there is a feeling that uh, the U.S. and uh, the U.K. and its allies who have been striking Houthi targets in uh, Yemen every sort of two or three days over, over the last couple of weeks, that they will be able to resolve uh, this issue. There's still huge, uh, huge uncertainties. The Houthis, who are an Iran-backed group who control much of uh, western Yemen, including the key port of Hodeida on the Red Sea, they have vowed to continue their attacks. They say they're supporting Hamas in its, in, in its war against Israel in Gaza, and they say they're not going to back down until Israel pulls out of Gaza. So this is not something that's going to stop um, uh, very, very soon. It's likely to be uh, a, a problem for at least uh, the, next, the next few weeks, if not longer. Here's something that has puzzled me a little bit, and that is the absence of any Chinese efforts or efforts from uh, the Chinese military to safeguard this passage or to have a stronger presence. Why is that? Well, I think it's, uh, a, in some ways, it's political. China doesn't really want to get involved uh, in something that is uh, very, very linked to the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. Um, as I said, the Houthis are very much saying this is in support of, of Hamas. China, I think, would like to stay out of it. It has said that it uh, wants to see international waters kept open for trade, and it doesn't want to see the kind of uh, disruptions that we're seeing in, in the southern Red Sea at the moment. The Houthis have actually specifically said that Chinese ships will be uh, exempt from their attacks and that there's nothing to worry about if you're a, ch a Chinese vessel. China is still getting hit. Um, obviously, a huge amount of uh, its exports uh, go on container ships to Europe, and this is hurting Chinese companies. So it's not as if Beijing um, is happy to see this happen. However, I think it's fairly clear that it would prefer uh, to leave the sort of, let's say, the hard work in terms of resolving it to um, the U.S. Uh, and other Western countries and, and, uh, and Arab states too.